Today we take a look at the Membrane Solutions Pleated Sediment Water Filter. These are 10 inch by four and a half inches. They are 20 micron and this is a four pack. So I'm happy to see they actually have a nice packing inside of here. So we don't have to worry about these things being damaged. The whole size on here is about one and a sixteenth, so that should fit most housings. We can also see these are pleated and very nice and deep pleating on here. So the difference is if you had something that had a surface area just like this, when the outside clogs up, that's it, you got to replace it. With this one, I mean, obviously when the outside clogs up, you got to replace it too, but you got a ton more surface area. So if you got material that's going inside of here, it's still going to allow flow just outside of that. So this has the potential to last a lot longer. They did also say that you can wash these things and reuse it, although I never do that. Anytime the filter needs service, I just replace it. But it is nice to know that that is an option. So here I got my filter housings. The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that all of this is isolated. So I'm going to shut off these two valves. So the only thing I got in here are these filters. We install these drains. So I'm going to allow the water to escape. It's going to help to depressurize the system. It's also going to make it a little bit cleaner. And for these housings, I typically use a strap wrench. We also don't normally need to tighten them that much. But we work in a place where different people do the job. So you can see we got some sediment in there. There's a little bit of algae around the outside, so I'm going to toss this guy. And there is a little bit of muck inside the housing, so I'll rinse that out. So there is a peg inside in the bottom. So we're just going to light up the hole with that peg. It should pretty much self-align. So we're just going to spin that guy back up. The way I like to do this, I put it on. I just give it a couple of easy taps. And that is it. And you just do the same thing for this one. Now I can open these valves back up and press the system for this. As long as you don't really crush those things down, there's an O-ring on the top. If you flatten that out too far, then you know the valve leaks. As long as you don't do that, you just do those light taps, you should never have a problem with these. So that's two, and I got two left. So nice and easy job.